Hello everybody, welcome to this lecture which is about stars and their organizations according to uh, different parameters that we will discuss today. Our lecture today is with the topic the family of stars. So at the beginning of this lecture we will be discussing um, how to determine the distance of a star using the parallax system. Um, we will know what is a proper motion. We will discuss the in, uh, the, the brightness and the magnitude, how to determine the absolute magnitude and the uh, distance of a star and the relation between luminosity to absolute magnitude. Then we will see how uh, stars are organized into um, spectral types and luminosity um, and this can give us the radius, the mass, and lots of things which is all together organized in a single chart called the HR diagram. Uh, then we will be studying the binary star systems and how to, do to, how to determine a binary system uh, through spectroscopic binaries and uh, through the brightness system. Uh, after that we will see where do stars are located, where are stars located among all these um, uh, organizations. We already know how to determine a star's surface temperature, chemical composition and surface density and this was actually discussed in uh, the previous uh, video which is um, starlight and atoms and today in this video you will study the distance, luminosity, radius and the mass. You will be able to determine these parameters using simple equations. So, what is the parallax and how can we determine the distance of a star using the parallax? It's really easy. Uh, to determine the distance of any object away from you, you can um, put that object away from you and stand on a point B and move with a distance, known distance, which is the baseline towards another point A. Then you know this distance and you know this angle. So you can get a bisector which is the distance D and using trigonometry uh, through the tan theta of this small angle you can tan theta equals adjacent over uh, sorry adjacent over um, opposite over adjacent sorry opposite tan theta equals opposite and uh, opposite side over the adjacent side so if you know this angle and you already know this side because you know this whole side so then you can simply get the D which is the distance. It's done the same for stars. Um, when there's a star here and the Earth is revolving around the Sun, so you wait six months until um, you observe the object from another uh, position and you already know this distance as a one astronomical unit and you will see uh, the, the, this star in a position then after the sixth, the sixth month you will find it moving uh, towards another point and this movement is not a real movement it's caused due to the earth movement it's an apparent movement 
and the d distance equals 1 over this angle called p um, so using this way you can determine the distance in parsecs and the one parsec equals 3.26 light year